Hello kittens. Hey mama. Isn't that pretty girl doing? Meow. Come here. You're not getting nauseous, I hope. Such a pretty girl. Hey boys. Hello sequins. Oh, purrs. Your claws are already sharp. Some strong purrs on cam too. Yeah, pretty girl. What are you doing, Puck? Let's see your face. Hey, Button. You guys still waking up? She started purring again once I petted her right there. And again. Such a pretty girl. A little split underneath his nose looks a lot better. I think he got a little bop from mom. Good girl.
Jamboree sequence. Um, if, if you see sequence on my lap, you're behind on the DVR, which you probably won't notice for a couple minutes. <laughs> Let's Tam CC set. This is buttons. Sequence has unimpressed eyes. Bless you. Why is your leg wet? It's just some kind of crust. Not sure what. Somebody sneeze on you or something. Where are you going? I'm over here. Sequence had a little cough.
Seems fine now. It wasn't a hairball. It could be preparing for a hairball, though. Puck is sitting on top of the light bar. Seems fine right now. You gonna go piddle? One interesting thing about having no pants on right now is that you can see all the tendons in her legs. Yeah, she had a piddle. Just listen to your breathing. Ow. I was checking to see if I could hear any crackling in her breathing, which could be pneumonia, but I did not hear anything. She might have a URI thing going. The breathing is a little bit rapid. Something I'm not concerned. I'm just taking notes. Things to bring up to the vet on their checkup on Wednesday. That's the first time you climbed up on my lap. Which side are you going down on, Puck? It's not unusual for a kitten to breathe fast. And just keep an eye out to make sure there's nothing else going on with it. side of the fence. Just trying to get him to come out come down on this side. <laughs> Sounds like he's starting, he might be coming down with the URI. We'll see, uh, as long as it's, it's not as clear, it's just something to observe.
it gets color, then we'll have to see about getting some antibiotics. What are you doing sharpening your claws on my carpet? I know it's crappy carpet, but hey, it's a carpet. I'm gonna move that light bar over there. It's, it pretty much ruins this camera with the light bloom. Not so bad during the day, but at night it's camp's almost useless. This is kind of why I have a backlight because you wouldn't be able to see them very well at all. Especially if you're in front of the cam. Okay. Yeah, cam three looks better already. standing in front of it.
waiting for the updated video to show up on my cam or on the phone. Well, that looks good. That looks really good. There's a light coming from it. It's a little bit bluer because it's shining on a blue wall instead of a white poster board. That's good for now. No, Kelly, the mods here are not all my personal friends. A lot of the mods are recommended by other mods. The best way to become a moderator is just to be helpful. Answer questions in chat, help CC, things like that. Asking to be a mod is probably the fastest way to ensure that you won't become a mod. Modding is not all fun and games. Like if you look below in the description, there's moderator guidelines. Learn them, know them. If you don't know them, there's no way you're going to become a mod. Having that backlight over there definitely changes the lighting in the room. It's easier on me. change the way they climb over the fence. Mama. Your other kitten's being boring. Come here. Yeah, the best way to become a moderator is to get noticed by my moderators. They're the ones who recommend to me who I should approach.
That's a part of a Beastie Band collar. Whoever had the pink collar last time. Moderator can be fun. It's just not constant. It's not a party. It's enjoyable watching the kittens and helping to make the cam a better place. I, the, as far as I'm concerned, the moderators are invaluable. I wouldn't be able to. The cam would not be the experience that it is without my moderators. I'm. Very thankful for them, even if they I don't give them enough donut crumbs, and they complain about that frequently. I just ignore it. Where'd that come from? Looks like one of the clips lost the handle. Not a toy. seem to have both of them, ones I can see. And mom's going over the fence. I still have the space heater set to 74 degrees. Quit eating the, the danger warning signs on the power cable, please. Thank you. You're making this all soggy. I think we should have a National Moderator Day in which we have a large group chat and we have a moderator. And they go see the ones over to be with Mama. We did get some snow last night. I just got a light dusting here. Most of it's already melted off wherever the sun's hitting. So that's a Beastie Band, part of a Beastie Band collar. It's soft Velcro elastic. So if they happen to get it caught in their mouth, it'll just annoy them and won't hurt them. Here comes Mama. Yeah. The light bar is no longer there to jump over with. It's over there. That was a beautiful jump. Just a bit.
slightest pressure of our hind legs on the top bar. And now sequence like, now I gotta jump over the fence. Sequence there, here's mama's toy. Come on over girl. You know how to do it. <laughs> Let me see if I can find another scrap. He's chasing his tail now. That's a regular straw. I do have another scrap, but it's not long enough. after I finish grouping the litter box. where that piece came from. Enjoy the kittens. Have a nice day. I'll see about waving to Mama if she's still up. I'll put it out the window. I head out.